Good morning. It is 9.47 on Saturday the 14th of September and it's time for Today in My Boo Chair. So how are you? Are you alright? I hope so. Have you had a good day? Did you enjoy getting two videos for, <laughs> for one yesterday? Yeah, sorry about that. I was just so tired. Um, Thursday night, I was just like, no, I'm going to bed. But I still had the footage, so I just edited edit edited it yesterday yes that's what we do <laughs> right so yesterday I did the day face cream makeup I did do my challenges I don't know how well you can see this actually should I have the light on mm, it's a little bit better so I did the challenges I had a drink mainly because I was watching Endgame last night and I knew it was going to be sad because I had gone the whole um, right up until Wimbledon actually not knowing what happened because I don't watch trailers and I tend to just scroll on by whenever I see anything come up about a film that I'm waiting to see and um, I've managed to get all the way up to it and then I was reading a piece on Coco Goff and um, somebody said to her when was the last time you cried and she said, oh, when I watched Avengers Endgame and and said what it was that had made her cry. And I was like, that's, that's, that's fucking great, that. I've made it up to June. I would have made it two more months if it wasn't for the fact that the paper published a spoiler. I was livid, absolutely. I'm not going to say what it is in case somebody hasn't seen it. But yeah, I was livid. And so I knew I was going to cry. So I thought I'm going to sit there and... And, and watch it on my own <laughs> without any of my kids or anything you know just sit and watch it on my own because I knew it was gonna and god it was I cried through quite a lot of Endgame actually I really really enjoyed it so yeah so I, I, I had booze <laughs> um I had a cat did I have chip what did I have for dinner yesterday oh I had um chicken or croot yesterday that was lovely with some vegetables did I craft? Yep, I did for a little bit. About today, I'll do that in a sec. Didn't do my garden last night, but I have done it already this morning. And then I did my night care routine when I went to bed. Right, let's just check that I've done the about today bit. I'm not sure I have, no. hope you can see that I've put Endgame I love you 3000 if you've seen the film you'll understand the reference if you haven't I'm not gonna spoil it <laughs> <coughs> losing my voice we are having the barbecue today it's beautiful weather outside really really nice blue skies the occasional little stuck on puffy cloud you know you know the type I mean don't you where it looks like a child's like stuck a white cut out cloud on a blue paper background um yeah it's it's lovely oh i didn't fill that in last night okay let's fill that in um okay so um my mood my mood was okay yesterday uh, my pain was probably about there i don't know how to um it's a bit of paper nice Okay, so let's do yesterday's. Well, oh, my Fitbit needs charging. I hate when that happens. I need a, a plug with more USB ports on it. I've got one that's got two, and yet I plug everything in down here. See, according to that, it said I've got 20 odd percent. According to my Fitbit, I'm on 18. Good thing I plugged it in then, isn't it? I'd never have made it through the day. Well, it would. The ionic battery is amazing. I slept funny, my right shoulder hurts. And it felt really good to not get up in like the sixth hour this morning. I'm not used to it, but I I need more time in the mornings than I did when my other children were at school. So um, I now get up at like, well, my alarm goes off at half six and I get up at quarter seven and I'm so not used to this. I hate it. I fucking hate it. 
I am not a morning person. Mornings are there to stop nighttime and afternoons bumping into each other. They're a stupid invention. And they shouldn't be allowed. And who decided that eight o'clock was a good time to, you know, or, you know, jobs should be nine to five and school should start at half past eight, eight forty five or whatever it is. It's just stupid. Stupid. What day is it? <laughs> it's Saturday, which means yesterday was Friday. Did I do anything? No, I put the dishwasher on. I will have to clean today because um, my family make a mess. I need to do that spread for Clash Champions tomorrow night. Yes, I am waiting. I need to do my postcards. I need to look for the land registry as well. I'll be on there. Right, so that's me up to date with yesterday. I won't be able to film much in today because I literally have not been up long and I'm not like I'm not dressed or anything I haven't even washed my face yet so I can't fill that one in <coughs> let's pull a card yes yeah, so I didn't get on until late last night because um Callie was here using my equipment all day because she's just decided to start a YouTube channel but she doesn't really have very good equipment she's basically using my old computer which while it would do what she wants it to do the quality is not brilliant and um, I think she just basically wanted me to sort of hold her hand the first few times and uh, I mean she's talking about getting a decent setup at home or at least moving to doing it at home eventually but yeah I didn't I this is my computer all day. I've just chucked a whole load of cards down on the floor. Um, yeah, I didn't have access to my computer until about six o'clock, which was the night. But, you know. So I'm getting on here now to do it now <laughs> before everybody turns up for the barbecue. I might get on to. Oh no, I'm. Wendy's live tonight isn't she so that'd be fun eight of coins do what you enjoy and enjoy what you do basically work-wise okay um, well not necessarily work-wise even even if you want to progress a hobby into something lucrative financially lucrative that is then you know this might be the time to do it um, it's hard work if you want to do that and um, it changes a hobby into something that you have to do a lot of people have always said to me over the years why don't you sell what you knit or sell what you spin or s do it for commission you know take orders and that um, because it's my hobby that's my downtime and it's something I do for me you know I don't use the yarn that I spin I enjoy the process but I don't actually work with hand spun yarn that often I quite frankly prefer acrylic um, it doesn't stretch out of shape it you know comes in glorious colors and all that lot. but I like to spin so I spin the yarn most of it I've kept some of it I've sold some of it I've given away I don't do it to commission because then there is the pressure and the added stress that goes with that you know um, if you say yes I'll, I'll make this cardigan for your daughter's baby or whatever that's going to be born in two months time you've then got two months to make that cardigan now I can make a baby cardigan in, in a matter of a few days that's that's not it not what I'm getting at but it's then that I can't think oh, I fancy making a baby cardigan let's just make one it's it's the, the pressure not only that but handmade stuff is expensive and it is hard to find people who are willing to pay out for it because you're not just paying for the yarn you're paying for my time you know um, yes okay it might only take me three days to make a baby card again but that's three 14 hour days that means I basically knit from the moment I get up until the moment I get sleep um, if I go to sleep at a normal time if I'm having an insomnia attack on it into the night now you know are you willing to pay 40 hours of my time and I don't work at basic rate do you know what I mean I'm, I'm I would be looking at about 10 pound an hour because it's something I do when I'm doing other stuff as you know my children at home or whatever and um 
I once had somebody ask me how much to make them a pair of socks. I love knitting socks. And I said, you couldn't afford it. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I could. He said, go on, how much, how much? And um, I said, okay. I said, it takes me a week to make a pair of socks. You know, if you want a design on them, if you just want plain socks, that's, that's a lot easier. But if you want a design on them, that takes me about a week. So he was like, right. I said, a basic wage, all right? I said, just, just for you to work it out. I said, basic wage, takes me a week. I said, working 12 to 14 hours a day. And he was like, right, okay. And he went off. And then about 20 minutes later, he walked past me and he just went, I said, yeah, exactly. Nobody wants to pay that. You know? So I've never done it. I've I've occasionally spun yarn and gone, oh, that's pretty, and I've put it up for sale. Because I know I won't use it, but I won't work to commission. Because I don't want that kind of stress in my life. Yeah, It's like, that's why I don't read tarot for money you know um it'd be nice if people occasionally gave me money if i if i do do it but i don't do it for money because i don't want people to come back and go, oh well, this you never said that this was going to happen <laughs> you know some people don't realize it's not definitive you know um but if i if i did a reading for for one of you and said oh yeah blah 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 and then something totally different happened well you'd want your money back wouldn't you so no, I don't read for other people for money. I've been told I should, but not only that, but the community where I live, they're not really that big on tarot. So, you know, whatever. So do what you love, love what you do. If this is something you want to turn into a financial gain, then this might be the time to do it. You know, if you if you make stuff and you want to sell it and you know there's a craft, craft fair coming up, then um, is it finished? Yeah. You're going to put something else on then? No, I want to watch how this boy man had this. A bike. Can you find it? I can say. Hi. Hi. Go on. Where was I? <laughs> um, yeah, if you've got a hobby that you think, you know, I want to make a bit of money out of this, and you know there's a craft fair coming up, or, you know, something like that, maybe go along, maybe sell a few bits. You know, you might get yourself a few pennies. Is this something you could turn into a career? I don't know, is it? that comes down to your dedication this might be the right time to try but it comes down to how dedicated you are and how much work you want to put into it okay I know you probably can't read that I've put do what you love this might be a good time to make money from it did you go outside in the garden did you oh hi She's a lazy dog. She doesn't get up until about 10 o'clock and then she likes to go outside and wander around in the sunshine for a bit and then come down and get in her office bed. She's bed in literally every room. The bed in my room, the office and the lounge. She prefers the bed in the office because it's bigger and she can sprawl on it, which you know, she absolutely loves. So it's, it's funny watching her when she gets up because she just literally comes down and goes, oh, and then gets into her bed. I hate when it doesn't update the um, Fitbit up here. So it says 18%, but I've just looked at it and the Fitbit's actually at 30%. 30 it's just not updating the charge on it. That annoys me. Right, I set a lot better last night. <sighs> Nearly seven hours, that's awesome. I needed it. Right, from half past 12 until eight o'clock. And I wasn't awake much either. I got up at, I think, six to go to the toilet and was awake for a little bit. And when I went, ugh, I've got time. I just went back to sleep. Daryl didn't get up until eight. Better sleep, but sore shoulder this morning. Which is going to bother me now for the next four or five days, because they do, don't they? Okay, today is Saturday. I haven't done any chores yet and vacuum through yeah I definitely need to revisit this because I certainly don't need to vacuum as much and I don't need to like blitz the bathroom every fucking few days that can go down to once a week actually okay we've got the barbecue today yay really really looking forward to that I've been waiting for my barbecue all summer Weather, 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 weather.
bright sunshine. Mm -mm -mm. Nice and bright. I reckon it's going to get warmer than that. It says a high of 18 and a low of 11, but I actually think it might get warmer than that today because it's so nice out there. Right, sunrise was 06.38. Sunset is 7.22. Word for today is colourful. And I'm going to spell it the English way because, you know, you guys missed a letter out. Lucky, lucky. That's about it, really. I can't really put anything else in here because um, I haven't done anything. <laughs> so I guess I need to go and get dressed and do something with my face and do a couple of chores before everybody gets here later. I need to sort some postcards out, so I might print those up in a minute, actually. Let's see. Got to do six post crossings post because I might just print some up and then grab addresses. I need to set up my Clash of Champions spread and I need to clean the microwave because I didn't do that. And it must smell of coffee in there because I keep reheating coffee grounds in there for the, the paper dyeing. <laughs> um, so I might do that and then vacuum through downstairs, and then that's pretty much all I really need to get doing. I've got a couple bits of laundry to do. I was quite pleased actually because I washed all of Daryl's uniform yesterday being really worried because his um, shirt and jumper and all that are red and um, I was really worried that the shirts were going to dye everything pink so I stuck, snuck a couple of pairs of socks in just to make sure and nothing got tinted. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. If you're here in the UK, Asda polo shirts for school, I, his were bright fucking red. They've kept the colour, there's no dye leakage or anything. I am really, really pleased. Um, I also need to check to see how the stamp tastic stamp stamp the stamp tastic stamp did that I labelled his clothes with um, to see how well that held up because apparently it will hold 50 washes so that'd be interesting to see. Um, so yeah, really really pleased because I was a bit worried that everything would come off because I had the shock of my life on um, Monday when I got him home from school. I said to him, right, you're gonna get you in the bath because you've been running about, you're all hot and sweaty. And um, I went to get him in the bath, scrubbing him. So I hold your arms up, and he lifted his arm up, and in the crease of his armpit was like it looked like a bleeding rash. It was bright red, and all, and I was like, holy cow! And I gently wiped over it with my hand to see how bad it was, and it was fluff from his school uniform. <laughs> Honest to God, it looked like you know if if you've ever suffered from really really bad sweat rash between your thighs or, or any you know like a graze or anything like that's what it looked like. It looked so sore and yeah and then I realized it was you and I thought shit that's gonna run like shit in the washing machine and dye everything pink but thankfully it didn't so I'm really quite pleased about that so yay so I washed all of that yesterday then realized I forgot to do his jumper so I need to do that and I've got a couple of other bits to do so yeah go on do that the trouble is I still don't have a washing line so it's all on one little error which does a load at a time not like you know four loads but I don't know what setup I want in my garden I don't really want a fucking great rotary dryer taking up the majority of my garden you know but I don't want a line either because I've got there's not really many places I can put a line so I don't know I don't know what to do our garden's quite narrow you know and I said we'll put it in the widest spot and I'm like well that's right outside my laundry window I won't be able to see the rest of the garden when I've got laundry up and I suppose it's going to end up going up the top end not really much I can do about it. I don't know. I'll think of something. The guy didn't come <coughs> last night to quote me on my fence either, which I'm a bit annoyed about, so I might go down and bang on his door in a minute and say, Oi, where's my quote? But I did figure when I saw the lady yesterday, the young lady yesterday, and she said her partner does it she was rushing off to work so i reckon she probably forgot not in that but it was friday night and they're a young couple you know so yeah 
he might wander past today in which case i can grab him and go wait <laughs> fence give me a quote <coughs> um we'll see but if not i'll um get somebody to grab the number on their way out and i'll give them a ring later or go down bang on their door whatever i'm not shy <laughs> about coming forward right so i'm leaving it here there will not be an evening edition guys okay because um like i said tonight Wendy's going live and I've got no idea how long she's going to be on for. Look how chunky ass that is in my... Look at it. That's just two months worth. Can you imagine what, the, what like, three months or a year will look like? But, yeah, as I said, I am going to do two journals from now on. That'll be my planner and my journal. Because that way... Um, it, I think it's just going to be easier to see everything. So, yeah we'll see I just need to figure out how many sheets I need to do it <laughs> I really have no idea how many to do I also need to draw up because I, I decided it I don't know if I actually started drawing it because I made my 2020 book do you remember ages ago I made this so this is my collections book for 2020 you know, so I've got things you know, like gift ideas and, you know, when to save money for. I couldn't believe I'd done all this. I've got about this. And I've drawn in my calendars for the next year. I've just got a number of them. So I'm like, wow, yay me. I was like on the fucking ball then. I need to decide my 2020 resolutions. So this book is done. So, you know, I don't need to worry too much about getting my 2020 planner book ready. Although I want to just because then it's done, isn't it? And it's like, ah! Um, also, I don't know whether to when I do it, do I cut the sides? Because I don't need to. I don't need to do this notch at the top and bottom. That book shows that I don't need to. It fits perfectly nicely, you know? But then it also fits perfectly nicely with it. But I did notice in a couple of my other books that it started to sort of wreck near the spine. So I don't know whether to or not. It's easier to not have it, especially when I do the washi straight across the top. Um, I haven't done any washi in this one. Yeah, when I do the washi straight across the top, I haven't then got to worry about snipping around and fuck arsing around with it. Like I've had to on all of my weeklies. Um, this was a pain. It'd be much easier if I could just go straight across and be done with it. So, yeah, I'm thinking I might not. I don't know. I'm just I'm brainstorming. Yeah, right. No evening edition because I will be watching Wendy's live. Um, I love this. I will be back tomorrow, which will be Sunday, with barbecue stories and hopefully a load of photos. I'm going to get out there and take a load of photos. And, um, oh, I know I didn't mark off, which I have done today. It's my, my garden. I've actually just been out and watered my garden. So I can mark that. Ah, uh, where is it? It's here. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll have a few stories <laughs> about the barbecue. If nothing, at least about how drunk we all got. That's because provided everybody turns out. I've already been told Alex isn't coming, he's working. That's up to him, isn't it? I can't force him to come. Just, you know, the longer you leave it, babe. Not that you're watching, but the longer you leave it, the harder it's going to be. So yeah, right. I will see you all in Sunday's edition of Today in My Buddha. Have a fantastic rest of your day in whatever it is that you're doing this weekend. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Oh, hang on a minute. I forgot about this bit. Yeah. I love the puzzle comic because we will comment. You do the rest of it. I can do the rest of it. Oh, okay. Click the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears down below, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for joining me today.